we have this slogan that says Pedro will take the neck of the leads, others follow if they can. Hello viewers, welcome to this special edition of the Polynekede Diary. I am your host, Chi Awalamoke. On this edition, we will be focusing on the achievements of engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa within three years in office as director, Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere. Sit tight and enjoy these numerous unbeatable achievements as I unveil all. To you. On assumption of office as the first aluminous and eighth substantive rector of the prestigious Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere, our internally generated rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Aremawa, unveiled his 14 point agenda and 72 targets to move the institution to an enviable height. This agenda was classified into three, namely, academic excellence, infrastructural development, welfare of staff and students. As a way to achieve academic excellence, our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Tidebere Arimawa, has procured numerous laboratory equipment for different departments, faculties and divisions in the institution. Now, come along while I take you around. The emphasis for us, because uh, this place is a polytechnic first because of engineering and science-based courses. And uh, being a predominantly engineering and science-based uh, institution, uh, we place a lot of premium on practicals. We have laboratories, we have workshops, and we have made efforts to provide equipment. TED Fund has also helped us a lot in the provision of this equipment for the laboratories and workshops. So we have made efforts to ensure that we have laboratories that are equipped to take care of the practical needs of the, several, of the different courses that we run. Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Aremawa, our internally generated rector, with clear understanding of the practical nature inherent in the polytechnic system, indisputably swung into action through the procurement of laboratory equipment for different faculties and departments in the institution, among which are turbidity meter, permeability mold, portable steam octoclave, incubator oven, and some equipment for mounting of post-harvest technology option, such as feed mill, bucket elevators, belt conveyor, rice stretcher, gram dryer, among many others in the Department of Agricultural and Bioenvironmental Engineering. Other well-equipped engineering departments include Metallurgical and Material Engineering Department, a department that was successfully mounted and equipped by our rector. Other engineering departments also received new equipment and laboratories. In the School of Industrial and Applied Sciences, CS, the pharmaceutical department got equipment such as incubator, centrifuge, microscopes, and many others. All other departments under the School of Industrial and Applied Sciences, CS, also benefited. In the School of Environmental Design Technology, SEDT, the Building Technology Department got new wood workshop fully equipped with heavy-duty equipment. The Fine and Applied Arts Department got numerous materials, equipment, exhibition halls, and also ongoing renovation of studios. The Department of Surveying and Geoinformatics received field equipment, the Office of the Surveyor General of the Federation, OSGOF, equally donated some surveying equipment to the department. The Architectural Department got a remodeled one-story building studio. In the newly established School of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology, SAT, 80% of all the equipment in her departmental laboratories were procured by our rector, Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa. In the School of Information and Communication Technology, SICT, the Computer Science Department received new software, hardware, 
and well-equipped and networked laboratories, the first of its kind. Personally, I think the rector is the best thing to have happened to the Polytechnic. He has provided the schools with state-of-the-art equipment that has fit into her laboratories. He has not only provided us with equipment, he has also provided us with the recent technological equipment. Now learning happens to be so seamless and easy. Now we can easily learn the things that we need to and do the things we have to without having to go outside the school to fetch equipment. I simply want to say a big thank you to the rector for all he has done for us. Our amiable rector, in elaborating the academic profile and capacity of the institution, created additional faculties and departments, namely School of Agricultural and Agricultural Technology, SAT, and School of Information and Communication Technology, SICT. Engineer Dr. Michael Armawa. Uh, has fulfilled the promise. Uh, when he came on board, he started with the plan. And strategically, a lot of social engineering uh, groundwork uh, went into it. He took a uh, procedure and he did that. We have the two schools. We have School of Information and Communication Technology, uh, School of, and then School of uh, Agriculture and Agricultural Technology. And we, already, we have departments on that at the moment the, the schools are functioning. Our smartest rector, having launched the Smart Campus Initiative with the aim to automate all management operations, processes, and make the institution visible to the global village, established a cell site and upgraded the network operating center, which serves as the control room or hub, housing the servers, switches, routers, and is also where the optic fiber terminated. The computer-based test center, CBT Center, was upgraded with the state-of-the-art facilities and numerous equipment purchased for seamless ICT activities. In enhancing the quality of academic output in the institution, Director, Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Aremawa left no stone unturned in equipping the library of the institution. The library has been central to the activities of the rector within the last three years. Uh, you are already aware that uh, he has spent three years and uh, we were all happy that uh, he came on board. Within this period, we discussed on things we can do to improve the library. And we noticed the way to go is the way of ICT. So he hit the ground running by introducing Smart Campus. So to that extent, the library has been a central hub for ICT operations to the extent that even screening of students and uh, access to the net, uh, handling of assignments and uh, teaching materials have been handled within the library. The library served as a center for ICT operations and we have been working hand in glove with the ICT department. So what we have so much for this period that the rector has served for three good years is the introduction, expansion of the ICT activities, uh, increase in data access, increase in networking, which many students and many lecturers have benefited from. The library division under his watch through tertiary institution trust fund, TET fund, has continuously received intervention in books and journals for different departments. A good number of books and journals were received from external sources such as Sa Emeko for Foundation Nigeria, Focus Biscon Canada, Institution of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria ICANN, the Fisheries Society of Nigerian Journals and Edited Proceedings. 
director, Dr. Engineer Michael Ayumawa, has rebranded and refurbished these library services, therefore taking it to the peak. Before now, the scarcities of all these services as a result to the growth and development of this noble institution. He has brought in the e-learning and the visual learning into this noble library science, therefore taking it to the peak also. The Smart Campus initiative of the rector was extended to the library through deployment of the services of IT Global, a leading ICT company that trained the library staff on the use of ICT for library services as it affects virtual or e-library. The division has continued to render support in the online screening of the students. An institution of higher learning without a library uh, cannot make progress. So having recognized that, we made the effort to ensure that relevant books, relevant journals, and all reading materials that are important for students to do their research, and even staff, lecturers are also using our library to do research. And also knowing that it is not possible to stock hard copy books in any one space, no matter how large that space is, we created and equipped a virtual library. Our virtual library is connected to libraries across the world. We also have uh, virtual books, virtual journals, journals that can be accessed even though they are not physically present. So it is important for us and we recognize that and we have pursued that. Again, in the provision of uh, these materials, State Fund has been very helpful in providing books. Up till today we are receiving consignment of books from Tet Fund. Individuals and other, spirited, uh, other public spirited people and organizations have made donations as well. Management has made donations of books and reading materials, some heads of department and some other individuals. That is how we are able to equip our library and prepare for students' use and even for the use of staff. The Federal Polytechnic Nekede Fabrication Center has witnessed massive progress since engineer Dr. Michael Chideberi Arimawa came on board. On Rector's supervision, through the COVID-19 response team, the center successfully fabricated automated and semi-automated COVID-19 hand-washing devices. Among the items produced by the fabrication center are remodeling of stands for solar-powered campus streetlights, construction of welding boots and workshop tables, for departments of welding and fabrication, design and construction of wood multipurpose operation machines, and many others. To further enhance and upgrade the fabrication center, the rector got additional equipment for the centers. Now, having seen the various laboratory equipment procured by our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidevere Arimanwa, follow me. Let me take you to the various infrastructures he provided. The rector, having noted the infrastructural deficits in the institution, made significant progress through massive construction of magnificent edifices for classrooms and offices. These include completion of ongoing School of Business and Management Technology SBMT classroom complex completion and furnishing of School of Environmental Design Technology SEDT office complex, construction and furnishing of classroom complex for agricultural technology, construction and furnishing of Technology Entrepreneurship Development Center 2, construction of a single-story modeling studio for architecture department, construction and furnishing of classroom complex for School of Humanities and Social Sciences, now School of General Studies, SGS, remodeling and furnishing of classroom complex for School of Environmental Technology, SEDT, networking of SEDT laboratory, construction and furnishing of office complex for the School of Agricultural Technology, construction of office complex for School of Engineering Technology. Before our rector came on board, there were no conducive learning environment for students. 
We wake up as early as 5 or 6 in the morning. We rock to classes in order to secure seats. But since our rector came on board, we now have conducive learning environment. Our rector has done marvelously well. And we students are so happy. Since the rector came on board, he has done a lot of work here. He created new infrastructure, our classes. Now we have new classes that are conducive for learning. Not like our previous classes that everybody would just rush to go to class. But now he built new classes in every faculty in this school. In the School of General Studies, School of Engineering, he made sure he built new faculties. Now we can all sit comfortably in school without any distraction or without shifting the app, please shift, 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 no, but everybody's now okay. We say thanks to our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Arimanwa, for all he has done. I just want to thank our rector, engineer Dr. Arimanwa Michael, for the wonderful work he has been doing and for what he's yet to do. This is indeed a promise kept by our rector, for the provision of conducive office and learning spaces for staff and students through the intervention of Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TET Fund, Capital Appropriation Fund, and Internally Generated Revenue. The Rector's advocacy on maintenance culture is exemplified in the maintenance of some dilapidated buildings and rehabilitation of seven old bungalows in the campus, renovation of fine and applied art studio. The Industrial Maintenance Service Unit Center has been re-energized in service delivery as it continued to produce some of the internal woodworks needed in the institution. This has also helped the director in his drive to collapse waste and maintain usage of local content to a reasonable standard. As a way to improve enlightening on campus, our smartest director embarked on the installation of solar panel powered street lights, procurement of 500 kVA backup generator and 100 kVA among many others. In enhancing and providing adequate health services to staff and students, the Medical and Health Services Division of the institution has witnessed immense development in the areas of staffing, provision of equipment and facilities such as purchasing of laboratory analyzer, which is classified as a multi-purpose equipment, maximum supply of drugs, an act that yielded the certification of the unit by the pharmacy board to run pharmacy internship in the institution medical center. To this effect, the rector approved the building of the state-of-the-art pharmacy drug store. The rector also provided safety and protective materials such as hand gloves, protective caps, masks, and wears. The rector, engineer Dr. Michael Aremawa, in his usual proactiveness in preferring solutions, collaborated with the Imo State Government on coronavirus COVID-19 vaccination for the first and second doses. At a time, assessing the institution became a Herculean task for both human and vehicular movement due to the deplorable state of the two major entrances. The rector, brought the attention of the presidency through the Ecological Fund Office, Office of the Secretary General to the Federation, for intervention in reconstruction of the major entrance roads of the institution and control of erosion and gully menace. Today, the staff and students of the institution, residents of the community, shop owners and other road users are full of gratitude to the rector and the presidency for the timely intervention which has yielded positive results in all aspects of their daily operations. Before, these roads was very bad. We don't sell markets. We don't see customers. Nobody to pass through the roads. But at least now that they have made the roads nice, we can sell market now. Customers do tripping into my shops to sell market to buy things. At least we are very happy, all like before. We have to thank 
Dr. Arumawa, director of Federal Police Nekede. He's really a good man. He tried very well. Transportation from here to town was very, very expensive. Like, you see people taking like 300 or 400 naira to town, but since the repair of the road, everything has come down. I want to give a big thanks to the, to the director for tiring this road, for making it more terrible. At least for now, it's easy and free flow for all of us, all students, to move and to go to lectures, attend lectures, attend classes. We say big thanks to Hector. We are students of Federal Polytechnic Nekede and we want to thank the rector of this school for making the road accessible for movement. I want to say a very big thank you to our rector for reconstructing this road and making it accessible for, I, for myself and my fellow students. The road was commissioned in July 2021 by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria ably represented by Right Honorable Benjamin Okezie Kalu, Chairman, House of Representative Committee on Media and Publicity. In attendance were His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Himo State, who was ably represented by His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Himo State, Professor Placid Njoku, Eze Godwin Umerenini, Dibia One of Umudibia Nekede Autonomous Community, and the host, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Aremawa, alongside the members of management staff. The Federal Polytechnic Nekede Water Factory was not left out as all the production machines have undergone general maintenance to ensure quality and healthier productions. In securing of lives and properties, our security conscious rector donated five motorcycles to the security vigilante outfit of the host community to aid mobility most especially during emergencies our ever dogged rector procured a firefighting rapid intervention vehicle and also embarked on the perimeter fencing of the medical center female hostels and fencing of the cow lounge Goatry and poultry for the Department of Agricultural Technology. This is to put a check on the nefarious and destructive activities of human and animal intruders. Taking a step further, the rector hosted a one day security conference tagged Security and Welfare of Off Campus Students, the Responsibilities of Landlords, and the Limits of Enforcement Agencies. When the rector appointed me the Dean of Students Affairs, we received a lot of uh, challenge from the off-campus hostels. You know, majority of our students live off-campus. Um, many of these problems had to do with the police, with uh, national drug law enforcement agencies, and other government uh, agencies. Because these landlords put non-students in the midst of students, and so when the law enforcement agencies came to look for those people, times they will arrest students alongside. And there was no official relationship in terms of regulation between the polytechnic and the landlords. So I had to consult with the, land, the director who then directed that I should hold a meeting with these landlords. That was what led to that first conference with off-campus landlords. The idea was to discuss the issue of cohabitation with them and to discourage it, to talk about the security of students living off campus and their welfare. So the rector made arrangements for the commissioner of police to be in attendance, the uh, uh, coordinator of those other security agencies in the state. They were all in attendance and they helped to discussing with the landlords in order to reach an agreement. Since after this uh, conference, we've been having a lot of uh, benefits. Um, the, Incessant arrests of students have been lowered. The landlords no longer put non-students in the hostels. All the hostels are now being designated, either male or female, to discourage cohabitation and, and so on. So there are a lot of benefits we are getting from that conference. Our indefatigable rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Aremawa, introduced a smart bicycle scheme called Our Bike a mobility welfare package aimed to ease the transportation challenges faced by the students and staff within the campus. 
This scheme was greatly embraced by the students of the institution who expressed their joy as the scheme serves the dual purpose of transportation and exercise for them. Wow, I can feel the excitement on your face. And all you have seen are a clear proof that indeed our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa, is a servant leader and a man so true to his visions, agenda, and goals to change the face of our education sector by using the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere as the pace setter. So, I urge all Nigerians and the whole world to join us and celebrate our internally generated and the smartest rector, who is the eighth substantive rector of the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere, in wishing him a happy, fruitful, and a prosperous three years in office. Meanwhile, see you in our subsequent episodes as I unveil much more giant strides of our rector. But until we meet again, I remain Chi Awolamoke.